Good morning. It's the last day of the light painting uh, meetup here in uh, Bonnetalk County, Virginia. Today we are going to Roaring Run. Something on my lens. Let's wipe this off. Uh, today we're going to Roaring Run, which is a really neat um, natural area. There's a giant furnace there that has a lot of historical significance. Um, they used to melt down iron ore to make cannonballs at this giant furnace. There's uh, streams, creeks, waterfalls, all kinds of neat features that we're going to be able to shoot. I think everybody had a great time at the Dinosaur Kingdom last night. Everybody was just kind of going around, doing their own thing, making their own images, and um, it worked out really well. So we had one big, <coughs> excuse me, I'm sick. Um, been sick for two days. It's getting worse, but I'm going to power through it. I'm just going to power through it today and uh, pretend like I'm not sick. Uh, one thing I want to do is show you guys, I've been shooting a lot on this uh, Polaroid camera um, for this trip. And here's some of the images. Focus. And that one. And that one. Oh, some of these came out really neat. That was from the church last night. Uh, I, don't know, I just thought they came out. Um, I'm liking these. I like these things. Uh, another one. So, anyway. Everybody here on this trip is freaking awesome. There are a lot of people are using uh, the light painting brushes, and if you're not familiar with it, light painting brushes is the, are the tools that I make. It, knowing that these images are being created with tools that have literally gone through my hands, I feel like kind of like a piece of me is on these images that people are making. So I don't know, it's really neat for me. So I'm looking forward to seeing more of that today and uh, shooting the Polaroid and just hanging out and having a good time. So I'll check in when we get over there. All right, I've made it to Roaring Run. Now I've got to find 30 light painters out here in the woods somewhere. So the big collaboration image that we're going to do tonight is going to happen right here. This place has so many light painting possibilities. Just this little thing right here, just illuminating all these rocks and all the cracks, making it look like the, the rocks are just have energy flowing out of them. I think I see two light painters. What's Mike Newcomer doing outside? <laughs> Look at all these celebrity light painters. Jeez. What can I say? Well. <laughs> yeah, so welcome to the furnace. This is where we're going to be doing our lab tonight with everybody. During the Civil War, this is where they, they'd mine iron ore in the mountains around here. Mm -hmm. They'd take them to these furnaces, they'd melt it down, and they produce uh, cannonballs and bullets and just other kind of metals for whatever. But yeah. Cool. What's the idea for the collaboration? What are we doing for that? We can go over here and show you. Yeah, let's do it. An idea that I had, but we're going to have more than one collaboration because this is a great opportunity for everybody to be involved more than, than what we had last night. I have a group of people you know, coming in uh, 180 degrees and have a circle right yeah. there. And from here, we're just gonna do another huge flare, which is gonna silhouette the people that are standing here, integrating people with light. Uh, the variation, uh, with a lot of calligraphy. That's a great place for the calligraphy right in there. Can we do smoke? Can we do smoke down in there? And then do a laser. You can do a laser that comes out of it too, and then you can see the line. Mm-hmm. What in the hell are you making, son? It's gonna be good. A Dorito sandwich. Yep. It all goes in the same place. First off, thank you all so much for coming out. Thank you. I mean, it's thank you. awesome yeah. having all of you here, seriously. Oh, yeah. And I hope you all had a great time. Um, thank you, Mr. Page, Light Penny yes. Brushes, for dinner and coming out. And then Johnny, he, uh, he's got some cool tools that he's been designing and you know, fiddling around with. So last night we were able to give some stuff away. Tonight we'll give some stuff away. So thank you. And uh, the game plan is to do a drawing, got some stuff to give away. And then we'll uh, we'll go to our cars, get our gear, and we'll go over to the furnace. Good. Right. Johnny, what are you pulling out of there? The Spyro Jib version 3. Well, we can put it together. What is the Spyro Jib? The Spyro Jib is a headache. <laughs> so, no, nah, I was trying to come up with something different for a camera rotation tool. And I put this together on a whim and it reminded me of a spirograph machine, in my opinion. 
is one of the best setups for on location spiral grass with light. What else can it do? It's got a fixed gear. Mm -hmm. I actually have some adapters that can make it a, a camera rotation tool. And you use the gears as your index. You pop the, the uh, camera rotation off. It's got another adapter that goes on it that you can hook a fin blade to and make a mandala tool out of it. And then if you take the arm off and connect a straight bar with a hook, it's a mechanical orb tool. All right, we are setting up the shot. Everybody's getting focused. Uh, come a little bit closer. Yeah, right. Actually, about that. You gotta stand on one foot. <laughs> <laughs> Quick test shot with the flare. All right. If I get the flare knocked out, then it should be the right setting for you to, to paint. Oliver? Yeah? You're lighting. Yeah. I'm lighting. <laughs> Reinhardt's lasering. Where'd Reinhardt go? Any tip? Jason, Reinhardt's lasering. Stop. Any tip? Um, just do yourself. I'm, okay. <laughs> do yourself. <laughs> Sorry, Paula. Right. Oliver's taking your blue and your orange. Light Panthers United. Wow. Palatet is our yeah. new god. <laughs> <laughs> Spyro jib coming in. Oh. I got you. Okay. So maybe something that follows the thing. <laughs> You guys just looked at each other, both so confused about the other one, it was funny. What do you think? <laughs> I like it. Okay, something that looks like this? <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh my god. <laughs> That's a four way rotation in a little rock wall hallway. <laughs> Very Just good. so everyone knows, this guy right here is a genius. Uh, one of the many here. Like <laughs> that. Ladies, I'm leaving. It's been a pleasure. Aww. Nice to meet you all. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. you yeah, I'm Maybe. very, yeah, I'm you mean leaving. You're going to bed? Yes. Yeah. My, my throat is killing me. Oh, you need some rest? Yes. 100%. Thank you. Bye bye. bye. It was seriously. Thank you, Jason. You're the best. Thank you very much. Thank you for everything, everyone. You guys are amazing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's the end. That's the end of this adventure. I'm uh, heading home in the morning. Incredible time, everyone is amazing, inspiring, just an incredible group of people. So nice, supportive. Again, that's what's so beautiful about this light painting community and so unique that we have is the support for everyone and helping each other grow and succeed and just helping each other uh, be better artists. I think it's a, a great example of how to be a better human in general and that is this light pan community that we have. Very difficult to take off and leave when I know that everybody's gonna be there creating just magic images and feeding off each other, inspiring, and it's very difficult to leave, but I really, you know, just gotta, I gotta get some rest. So it's been a long couple of days of all night shooting um, and no sleeping. Well, tomorrow I head home and um, all I can say is thank you. Thank you for the inspiration. Thank you for all the good vibes, good energy. Everybody here was amazing. 
thank you for all the support you guys give me with light painting brushes and thank you for everything johnny griffin thank you for hooking me up with all the tools man i hope you all have a good night thank you for watching thank you for the support and i'll see you next time